Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can add the auto filter to the ribbon. Now, what you can see on the ribbon on mine, I have this filter option here, which is not there by default in the filter group. So I'm on the actual data tab. You can see there I'm on the data tab and I've got this here. And what is this about? This will allow you to filter by selection, which is similar to what you used to have in Microsoft Access, but you still have it in Microsoft Access, Access actually. So if I wanted to click on a particular item, so the way the filter is at the minute, the default one, I'd have to drop this list down, deselect, select all, tick leadership. Click OK to that. With this feature, I can click on leadership and then just do the auto filter like that. And then if I want to filter it a bit more, I can click on mail auto filter and it will drop it down and then i've got it sat next to clear so i can bring that back so it's basically you click on whatever you want to filter by so if i go for grade eo auto filter that and then go for m again auto filter that and then clear it off so it's a quicker way to do a filter and you're not uh, messing about with these drop down lists now, the modern versions of Excel, you've got the format as table feature, which will allow you to have a slicer, which will do similar sort of things. You just click on the item, but this is um, has been around for quite a long while. It's well hidden. So there, I filtered it again. I'll click on grade, filter, and then clear. So how have I got this? So what I've done is just gone into customize ribbon. So right click on any tab, customize ribbon. You come into this area, so what I've created there, you've got the data tab, sort and filter, I've opened that up, and you've got advanced filter, and then I've created this one, a custom group, I have to find the auto filter, so it's not in popular commands, so if you change that to commands not on the ribbon or all commands, you'll see auto filter there, she blows. And then I just add it across. Now it won't let you add it across into this area, which is grayed out. So what you have to do is create a new group. So if I just um, get this one off for a minute, so I'll just remove it. So, and then if I click on reset, this will reset the whole ribbon back to the default settings, including any customizations I've made. Yep. So now that has gone. So what I did was I clicked on it. I clicked add and it tells me I can't do that. Okay. So I click a new group and there it comes up. I don't want it on outline. So I want it in there. So I want it um, next to all filters or round about here anyhow. So new group. And then it's got the option there to rename it. So rename it and I'll call it what it is. Auto filter. Click OK to that. And then I can move this icon across to there. And that's how I did it. It sits in there. When I click OK, you've got it sitting in the ribbon next to where all your filter and sort options are. And then you could just utilize it. Click on the the cell you want with the criteria in it and then because it's sat next to the normal sort and filter group it's quite quick to just click on clear to bring that back so that's just a, a little tip to get a filter by selection it's called in access but it's just called auto filter in excel to get that on the ribbon in the place where it's useful next to all the other features so you've got the advanced features in there advanced filters and stuff like that as well but this is quite cool and easy to do so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one